So friendship. Uh, Kowalski, uh, thanks for uh, leaving a comment, uh, brought up a good point. Um, friendship, what could that be all about? It's a lot of different things. I mean, even the most mortal of combats. We think it's so simple as being a TV show. You have, you know, six white friends. Everybody gets along. Um, everyone's known each other their whole lives. It's always so, like, picturesque. So, you know, everything's centered. Everything's perfect until the director says cut. I guess if you're one of the lucky few thousand people, you'll have friends that you know since kindergarten, since the sixth grade. That friend you played in the sandbox with is now, you know, your company partner in a big corporation. Or maybe he's um, a fellow comedian or a fellow jujitsu dojo master. Or could be somebody that um, is a fellow actor. Or somebody just somebody you trust to go into business with. Other friends are merely iconic. Like you two were just meant to be together. Fred and Barney, Gilligan the Skipper, um... Who else? Anakin Skywalker and Jar Jar Binks, C-3PO and R2-D2. It's always those, kind of, those kinds of pairings. Or Kirk and Spock. It can be easy if you're Joe Rogan and you don't really need that social media. You don't look at Twitter. I don't look at Twitter that much either anymore. But if you're somebody like Joe Rogan, you can put, you know, you can put your family first, your fellow comedians first, your fellow, uh, any fellow actors or uh, martial artists or people you talk to, people you know, all the friends you know along the way, the best type of pizza. But if you're not Joe Rogan, if you're not a famous person, if you didn't get somewhere in life by, you know, um, by hard work, or even if you did get by with hard work and you got cheated in life, you tend to be the incel like this guy who shot people, killed people, killed himself. You tend to be that uh, sort of um, that um, violent martyr. You know, you're, you're willing to be violent, but then you'll take your own life to prove some sort of point like everyone else. And that's harsh. So, but let's say you're not as harmful as this person. Then what are your choices? How do you make friends? If you go through the levels of communication, this is the worst way to communicate with somebody. Especially if like, like there was a girl I was talking to and she was actually, I've never met a hijab woman. A hijab, of course, is that uh, sort of towel that a woman wraps around her head. Uh, as part of like a, like, you know, what is it like? I don't know. I don't want to say Shiites, um, Middle Eastern, Pakistan, Iran. She was from Iran, but Iran, Iraq, where women are owned by their husbands. That's the way I always saw it. And I finally met one online, but we know she didn't speak English and I couldn't speak Farsi or Persian. And so I had to use emojis or Google Translate. And that's, I mean, Google Translate's like, there's errors for that. Because if you don't know how to speak the language, it's fucked. So you use emojis. You try to communicate that way to hope to get to her, her, her attention or somebody you want to know. The second, I mean, a better way would be to tweet. However, when you tweet, you only have so many characters to write if you want to be a dumbass like the president or not. Or you want to be, you know, you want to be very, very um, well-spoken, good dialect. You try to write as eloquently as you possibly can using... Little to no contractions, big words, maybe some French and some Italian to be fancy. But ultimately, it's hard to communicate this way. How do you really do that, right? The only step up might be an Instagram, you know, picture with captions, video, or TikTok. But TikTok might be a little bit worse in that you would have less time for writing and more time for uh, twerking and doing some weird shit that like early 2006 type YouTube videos. I mean, the only thing more sincere, more genuine might be a handwritten letter. You can say all anything you want to say. There's no limit of characters, but it's hard to look. You can't see the person. It's easy to write what you want without looking at that person in the eye, uh, without having to uh, be there in their presence, smell their BO <laughs> or, their, or their deodorant or to know that they're what their voice is like and just writing, writing, writing and not looking at that person. It's easy to write, just like it's easy to leave trolling comments on YouTube. The other option would be to talk on the phone, which I miss doing, by the way. I don't miss rotary phones. I remember playing with a rotary phone when I was like maybe six, seven, eight years old. I had a Fisher-Price rotary phone, pain in the ass. But it's got to be better than writing a letter because you can actually talk to that person now. There's always Skype for business, but most people could talk. You can do visual video phone chat. I mean, I remember 
video phones as early as the 80s and they had very grainy blocky like like how many frames per second you know the person would talk on the phone so you know there's skype there's looking at that person there's looking at that person in the eye of course we can't forget zoom there's supposed to be a better skype to get people together i guess the idea ideal of ideals of ideas is to get you know people in that same place together to bring everyone together however fake I mean, ultimately, it's better to have people come in person, a real community of people just being around each other would be the best thing instead of just internet, Skype, or writing letters. Ah, but right, the social distancing, isn't it? God damn it. And you gotta wear your fucking masks. But I think what really matters when you're making a friend is the filling in the blanks of establishing that friendship with the short or the long answer. And it's very easy to figure this out. I think what it boils down to is if somebody doesn't like you, doesn't matter if they're online or offline, somebody you've known for two years, 20 years, or 20 minutes, if they give you very short answers or it's the way they answer you, then they're trying to be polite, but they'd rather not be around you. And I've said this before, but Kowalski kind of triggered something within me to really say this. Um, and it's the same thing with females. Um, I, I have a postal, I go to a post office where I have my private mailbox. And in this private mailbox, um, there are pretty girls that work the counters. It's like, why go to Hooters when Hooters can come to you? And I have yet to meet a pretty girl that would actually want to really talk to me. But there are many that would just be polite. Well, they have to be polite. Um, I know one guy on uh, one of the people I follow, always posting, never taking a break. Um, he's always talking about how the girls are sweet or nice to him. I said, they're supposed to be nice to you because that's their job. As soon as the clock is over, when that, when, that, when that big hand hits five, they can be cunts all they want. They don't have to talk to you. It's when they talk to you off duty, off site, that that's when you know what's up. But, um, you know, what is the true price of a friendship? What is friendship all about? Um, I really do think it's, it's how they answer you and if they can talk to you. Now, as I told Kowalski, and I'm telling you, bag of sands, remember, treat people the way you want to be treated. It's always important. Um, you can only be friends with somebody you really, really um, can really spend that time with. That's important. And if you can do it, then do it. But it's hard to just be friends with people you don't really know. But the more you talk to somebody, like Kali UK, I wouldn't consider him a real true friend yet, but it is possible. Because I've, I've talked to him on and off for years, for a couple of years. And um, he seems like a really stand-up person. All I can do for you, and I'm not a role model for the future of a humanity, okay? Uh, as Vark Skelethor, Joel, um, would say. Um, I'm just a guy, I'm just a dumbass who says a lot of different things. And I have a lot of different things to say. Um, but I can be your, your digital friend, your online friend. And anytime anybody whether it's Kowalski, Bag of Sands, um, any, anybody, anyone, Martel the Cool, um, Dreamcast 84, uh, all kinds of people. I mean, just anybody who wants to know anything, you, you can ask me. Um, except for Mr. Ben Friday, who I um, have blocked now from my account, called me a libtard and some sort of chomo some sort of Jeffrey Epstein pedo. Um, sorry, um, you don't go and do that. That's not, that's not being a friend. And as I said before, when I did my Paper Mario Origami King uh, post, if you are better than me, then you'd shut the fuck up and go do better. Don't waste your time on my channel. Remember, you're on my channel. You're bothering me. So obviously you have better things to do with your goddamn time than to waste it on me. A real friend is someone who will always talk to you. He, it's not like, look at, go go to Lauren Southern. If you know who Lauren Southern is, look at her last video. That's how most people talk to people. They're not talking to that person. They're, they're not, they're talking, they're not, they're talking at that person. You know, don't talk to me, talk to me. Does that make sense? So she's, Lauren is talking at her subscribers, talking down to them, talking like as though, you know, not talking with them, not talking amongst them. And that is the true difference. 
That is a difference between someone like Lauren Southern and someone you could go to the bar and have a real conversation. When someone is really talking to you, I mean, really talking to you, right? And that, and in, not always, in a lot of cases, there's people who are insane or who have their delusions and they can talk on and on to you, but you, so, you suspect something's up. It's when you can have a conversation like, oh, right, oh, yeah, da, 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 da. oh, yeah, oh, this, da, 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 right? That's a friendship. But when you have somebody go, uh-huh, 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 oh, that's something, oh, that's something, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, a lot of short answers. You know what's going on. You know what's up. So um, everybody, everybody who, is, who, who comments, you're, you're all great people. Um, you know, like I said to Pakistan's, you're still a young man. Um, you, you have not hit 40 yet. When you hit 40, you know what's up. I know what's up. I'm 42. So I know I was where you are now. Um, it's easy to say, oh, well, you don't understand. You're wrong. You're wrong about these things. I, somehow you're wrong. Like, no, <laughs> sir, I have been right. I've been wrong before. And now I am right because of all the things I went through. And the things that you're going through now, I went through that. I walked that path. And I know what now what a friendship is. So um, it's the people you really, truly meet. Because you can never really know me uh, you know, until you see me off camera. When I turn this camera off and you see me, that's who I really am. And um, like I said, this is just how it is. So for all of you who are curious, um, this is what a true friendship is about. Everybody keep this in mind. Everyone. Until then, um, thanks to everyone tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. I will do more posts later on this week. Um, more Metal Men, more Paper Mario, and something contribute to my brother. Until then, don't do anything I wouldn't do.